Hey guys, this is me, PJ, and I haven't made a video in a long time, but I have something special to show you guys today. So I've received two rescue leopard geckos. So the story about these guys is there's one female, which you're looking at right now, and then there's one male over here in the other tank. And um, the male was born with one eye, and the female has a cataract in one eye, and she is blind in that eye because of the cataract. So, um, this female I have named Sapphire, and the male I have named Reptar. I have rep rescued them from my local pet shop, because no one was wanting to buy them, but I found, found them very attractive geckos. The female has lost her tail, but it's regenerated into kind of a stump, and um, she's about to go and shed, so she has a stronger lamp on just for the heat of the shed box. And, um, the shed box is all humid and everything. And she's in there just lounging, and that's her left eye. You can't really see the cataract, but, um, uh, let's see if I can see that. Uh, the camera won't really focus, but, um, there's a cataract in her left eye. And, um, everything's fine on her right eye. She has very big eyes. She's got some kind of hybrid leopard gecko. I'm not sure, um, what her morph is, so, yeah. Um, they're both about two years old, and then the male's in here in his little shed box. Let's see if you can see that. Let's see, he has one eye in there. He's one eye, and he still has the eyelids of his um, of where his eye would be, but there is no eye in between those eyelids, and they're very small eyelids. So, yeah, and um, so the male came to me in a tropical kind of setup tank and not very strong heat bulbs which is fine because heat bulbs aren't even great for them anyways I have some strong heat pads and I've been revising um, my other leopard geckos too and they're using a lot less strong heat bulbs and they're using uh, more powerful um, heat mats um, because the leopard geckos take in their heat from their bellies so it's not very good to have strong heat lamps on them all day, but I have some pretty weak ones in there for light. And then, so yeah, so the female's about to shed soon, and you can only really see it on her body, and then the top of her head, that's what she usually looks like in color, and then once it goes to three-fourths of her head, then it starts to get dull, and the rest of her body is all dulled. Um, so yeah, the female's in here, and she's some, I'm not sure her morph, but, um, the male's in here, and he's just a regular uh, lavender leopard gecko. Kind of like a high yellow, except a little bit more uh, dotted and everything. Kind of faded dots. And a little update on Lizzie right here. Here's Lizzie. She's been doing great. She's gained a bunch of grams. Oh, and by the way, um, this female right here is probably going to be bred with Kevin, my male. She's been being very strong lately, and she's the perfect uh, weight to breed, and she is ovulating right now. So, I'm not sure about that. I might breed her soon, if she can handle it. If she can't handle it, it's, it really is just her eye and her regenerated tail. But, um, if she's showing any signs of stress, I definitely won't do it. But then over here, in Big Kevin's tank... And I have revised his name, there are name tags too. Um, I found out that Kevin is a Tremper albino het pattern, that Kevin was two years old. He was two years old when I got him. And then Lizzie over here was uh, about five months old when I got her. And um, you can see right there, she's just a regular lavender high yellow, just like the male um, rescue. And um, um, these two are both eating very well for their... Uh, missing eyes or eye problems and um, uh, yeah the male has been a little bit a little bit squirmy with the uh, the eye on the left side and eating and everything but he's doing all right he's gaining a few grams maybe one or two so far after I've had these two for a little while now and then um, the female is as I said before is very ready to breed all good uh, weight and everything and she's ovulating so she's pretty healthy too and then um, uh, so over here Kevin so he 
he's got his little um, little temperature probe in his hide. I'm using these electronic thermometers now because they're a lot more accurate. So in Kevin's uh, warm hide, it is 93.6 degrees. And in Lizzie's warm hide, since she is using the uh, uh, not very strong heat lamp, and then the stronger heat mat, um, it is 83.3 degrees. And the reason I still have Kevin on, on a strong heat uh, bulb is because he has a lot bigger tank, and that's a lot more room to cover. So uh, a regular heat mat can't just cover all that room for the heat. So yeah, I just wanted to make a quick update and tell you guys that I am not abandoning this channel. It's just I haven't had anything really um, important to make a new video about. My hermit crabs are still doing great and all the animals and everything. So yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.